Hello everybody, good afternoon, happy hump day. It's Wednesday, so that means that right now, the next 10 minutes will hopefully be the best 10 minutes of your day as an entrepreneur. Thank you so much for tuning in, whether you're tuning in live or you're watching this on the replay, I am so grateful to have you here. So quickly, uh, hi Blair, thank you for tuning in you're well today. So I am Marnie Blythe. I am the leader of this group, Full Pocket Entrepreneurs, and I'm a business and profitability coach, which basically means I help entrepreneurs just like you to make more money and less time doing what you're most passionate about. And I'm also a fractional chief marketing officer. So I help with companies strategically to figure out where to put your marketing dollars and how to make that equal sales. Thanks for the hearts. I appreciate it. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Blair. So I'm really excited. I love this new format. Uh, I think it's working really well based upon the feedback that I've been getting. So we're going to hit it hard quickly for the next 10 minutes and kind of share with you guys a little bit about what it looks like when you're creating a vision and a core focus for your company. So the first thing I want to start off by sharing with you is that successful business owners not only have compelling visions for their organizations, but the biggest thing is that they know how to communicate those visions to the people around them. So the thing about it is that it's great if it's in your head that you know what the vision of your company is, but you need to make sure that everybody on your team is seeing the same clear image of where the business is going and how it's going to get there. So it might sound easy to do, but it's actually not so simple. So I wanna talk today and begin this conversation about what it's like when you start putting vision, core focus and core values in place in order to move your organization into being a multiple six and seven figure a year ecosystem. So I actually have a business locally that I work with here and it is a very successful business. Um, it's $2 million a year business. And I've been working on training um, the sales team uh, and doing other work within the organization. And one of the questions that I started asking the staff uh, just a couple of days ago is saying, what is the company's vision based upon what you know? And I got a lot of different answers. And you might think, um, you know, you probably have different thoughts on that, but the thought that I had was, wow, that's kind of a problem because if everybody has a different vision and everybody's rowing in different directions, how do you get to the place that you're going to, to go to, right? So if, it's, if you don't know where you're going uh, and it's not clearly communicated and communicated regularly, then the chances are that your team is never going to get there. So having laser focus is the key to achieving amazing results for you and your business. Um, there's a book out there and it's called Focus. Um, and the author Al, Re Al Rees illustrates the point this way. I want to read this quote to you guys. The sun provides the earth with billions of kilowatts of energy, yet if you stand in it for an hour, the worst you'll get is a little bit of sunburn. On the other hand, a few watts of energy focused in one direction is all a laser beam needs to cut through diamonds. So laser focus equals laser results multiple six and seven figures a year in your business. So in order for you to begin this process of core focus and vision, we need to begin doing some work on mindset, your mindset as a business owner. And most business owners never get to the next level because they are not willing to be open and vulnerable to working on the business as opposed to just working in the business, okay? And this is understandable. So you went into business because you're emotionally connected to whatever it is that you do, right? It becomes your baby. You, you wanna nurture it, you put your heart and soul to it, and you, you're working, working, working on the business. But the truth is, before you can grow, you're going to need to take a leap of faith um, in order to say, I need to probably do things a little bit differently than I've been doing them. But I want you to know that we're here with the practical tools to help you to be able to make this shift because it's really truly all about mindset, okay? That's the first thing is understanding that you have to grow in your mindset. And if you aren't 
necessarily happy with the current state of your company you probably love what you do of course but if you're not happy with every way everything is you really have three choices right you can live with it you can leave it or you can change it and if the first two aren't an option it's time to admit that it's time for things to change okay hi gunny i'm glad you're joining us so listen i understand that change can be scary but what we need to do is begin this process of shifting thinking and we need you to change from believing that you are your company into letting it become its own entity okay so let me repeat that again we need to change from be beginning like this belief that you are your company into beginning to shift into letting it become its own entity and this is how we begin the process of creating focus and vision and a multiple six and seven figure ecosystem for our business so you have to be open-minded you have to be growth oriented and you have to be able to be vulnerable as you explore this process when i speak to most of my business owners and i ask them what is your core focus what is your vision what are your core values people who've been in business that i work with for 10 years aren't able to answer this question and that's understandable right because normally we're in business and we're in survival mode right like what needs to be done what fire do i need to put out right but instead where we need to start moving into is this um ceo level thinking right big picture thinking in terms of how am i going to move and lead my organization so that again everybody is rowing in the same direction laser focus we're cutting diamonds here you guys so um the first thing is the vision right so the vision is clearly defining who and what your organization is, where it's going, and how it's going to get there, okay? And it should be simple to articulate, articulate your vision because it's probably in your head. If you have more than one person on your leadership team, however, you all might have different visions of, of what that looks like. So I wanna encourage you to get with your leadership team and start having the discussions around what is the vision for the actual company. And in order to kind of start to figure out the vision, I want you to begin with the first step of what your core values are, okay? This is, this is a simple uh, process if you go ahead and just kind of allocate a little bit of time to it. And so your core values of your organization, three to seven values and this should really define your culture and who you truly are as people here are some examples to help you the core values of full pocket coaching are compassion honesty integrity accountability growth oriented so what are your values within your company the core values when you understand what your core values are this begins to um, be sort of like your, your flag, right? It's how you attract other like people to work for your organization, uh, team members, because we want everybody sharing the same core values that we share, because otherwise it's disparate and it's not a good experience for other people who are working with our organization. If this is making sense, give me a thumbs up and a heart or something like that so I understand that you guys are getting what I'm talking about. I got two minutes to share a couple of other things with you you guys and then 10 minutes is going to be out <laughs> core focus okay your core focus is also called a mission statement a vision statement or if you've read the book good to great uh, by jim collins he calls it the hedgehog focus it's what is at your company's core and where you need to be very focused at its very basic okay and we are simplifying things you guys it's defining two truths okay your reason for being your niche is. So today is just the beginning. Uh, I would love to encourage you guys to start thinking about this. Post in the group. I would love to hear what your core values are for your business. Tell me what your core focus is. What is your mission? What is your reason for being? Why did you begin your company 
to begin with, okay? Now, if you need more help on setting the clear vision and focus of your the direction of your company, and you wanna continue this process of exploration working on the business so that you can create this multiple six-figure or seven-figure a year ecosystem, I wanna encourage you to not forget and mark your calendar because next week, we are going to be live in Full Pocket Entrepreneurs every day at 1 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday, 1 to 2 p.m. If you can attend live, it is going to be awesome for you. I'm going to be giving things away and you can only win them if you're live. Now, if you can't be there live or you can't be there for all the sessions, that's okay. We will have a watch party every night uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern and then the materials, everything will be up until Tuesday. So you can rewatch the material over again. You will have a workbook. You've got to register though for the workbook and when you go through the masterclass series the free masterclass series you guys are going to have a blueprint that you can walk away from that series and you can go and implement things in your business right away so tammy will go ahead and put the link back up um, in the comments which she's done already if you haven't gotten registered please do we're gonna have a lot of fun together next week it's gonna be an awesome experience and again just to kind of wrap this up I'd love to see you guys working the next week share with us in the group what your core vision is what your focus is what your values are and again if you ever need help with any of this stuff private message me. I'm always here to be of help to you. Uh, also, if this was of value to you, please feel free to invite other people to the group. We really specialize in working with brick and mortar service-based businesses, specifically within health, fitness, and wellness, but we love all of our service-based entrepreneurs. So from my heart to yours, I hope that today is a incredible day for you. I hope you help a lot of people. I hope that you um, just go out and crush today. And uh, thanks as always for tuning in. Have a great day, everybody. And thank you. Bye-bye.